fedora hats were originally designed for women? Or that they've been popping out white rabbits for 200 years? The history of hats is as colourful as the people who wear them. But what do these hats mean to the cultures they come from? Ushanka Taking its name from the Russian term Ushi, meaning year, these sheepskin or rabbit fur hats kept the troops of the White Army warm during the Russian Civil War. Today, Ushanka is an integral part of the winter uniform of many military forces. Asian Conical Hat These hats are worn across East, South and Southeast Asia and have become a revered fashion piece. A cultural icon of Vietnam, the conical hat, also known as Non La, has several legends associated with it. As per folklore, a goddess is said to have given the locals these hats to protect them from torrential rains and teach them rice farming and is thus central to their culture. Fez This hat gets its name from the city of Fez in Morocco where the dye for these hats was found. While its origins are disputed, the hat was certainly popularized by the Ottoman Empire and became a symbol for modernity as it did away with turbans as a status symbol. Tam O'Shanter Taking its name from Robert Burns's 19th century poem, this bonnet is as Scottish as it gets and even serves as the inspiration to Jamaican Tam or Rasta cap. Bowler Designed for gamekeepers on horseback, it's a close alternative to top hats which would frequently get knocked off by low branches. Bowler hats today are extremely popular among women in Bolivia, becoming an integral part of the traditional ensemble. Sombrero Commonly associated with mariachi bands, sombrero is the Spanish term for hat. For the charros, Mexican horse riders, the extra wide brim meant additional protection from the scorching sun. While sombreros were initially designed as protective gear for outdoor workers, it soon evolved into a status symbol and a traditional clothing item in Central America.